protein, and muscle growth. Building muscle is broken down into two basic stages. First, we stimulate muscle growth through various forms of exercise, such as resistance training. Second, our body must repair our muscles for our muscles to grow back stronger. A study published in the journal Nutrients had 75 untrained male participants aged 20 to 22 perform three training sessions per week for 12 weeks while consuming protein supplements. The study split the participants into two groups. One group consumed 156 grams of protein per day. The other group consumed 104 grams of protein. During the study, the participants' training consisted of big compound movements like the squat, deadlift, bench press, and bent over rows. Sets and reps were altered each session from four sets of 10 to six sets of four to five sets of six. After 12 weeks, the researchers discovered that the participants who consumed 156 grams of protein per day gained no more muscle than the participants who consumed 104 grams of protein. However, the 156 gram protein group experienced an increase in total satellite cell count. Satellite cells located around muscle fibers are essential for the regeneration and repair of muscle. Therefore, this study suggests that more muscle growth was likely to occur in the 156-gram high-protein group. Another study reported in the Journal of the American College of Nutrition examined the effect of three different protein supplements on resistance-trained individuals. The researchers used the following supplements in the study. Whey concentrate, hydrolyzed whey, and whey concentrate high in lactoferrin. Protein intake among the protein supplement groups was 0.9 grams per pound of body weight, and in the control group, protein intake was 0.7 grams. All four groups followed the same training routine, which consisted of two upper and two lower body training sessions per week for eight weeks. The results of the study went against the hypothesis of the researchers and what many of us would expect to happen. The researchers found no difference between a protein intake of 0.9 grams per pound of body weight and a protein intake of 0.7 grams per pound of body weight. Another study, performed by the Norwegian School of Sports Sciences, examined the difference between milk and whey protein on muscle growth. Multiple legitimate and reliable measurement methods were used, such as magnetic resonance imaging, x-rays, and ultrasound. Despite all groups experiencing muscle growth, the results showed no significant difference between milk and whey supplements when it came to building muscle. So, what is the key takeaway from all of these findings? Research indicates that protein supplements are not necessary to build muscle. Yes, protein supplements are useful for people who aren't able to get enough protein during the day. However, if you're getting enough protein in your diet, there's no need to take an additional protein supplement.